Well, good evening, sports fans. Well, I'm still on the hunt. Nighttime hunt today. And I'm sure this is going to take even a couple more days. But we're going to keep working at it, so hang in there. I'll take you with me. We head on down the road. Well, you're probably wondering where I'm at now. I am at Padawanami Zoo, South Bend, Indiana. And I have heard through the grapevine, a couple spies said there's trees here. So we're going to take a look. And I got to tell you, I don't think I can get a tree out of here. There's got to be 10,000 people here. This looks like a Notre Dame football game out here. So many people. Cars everywhere. Hunting for parking spots. We'll see what happens. See you down the road. Well, this is the entryway. And it reminds me of Disneyland. The lines go back and forth, back and forth, and back and forth. You think you're getting close, and you go back and forth a few more times. Very, very busy. But when you get inside, it opens up, and it's not too bad. It's the big money raiser for the zoo. One of their biggest ones of the year. And the line got a little shorter as time went on. If you gotta come, the probably best times come later. A lot of kids. This is big for the kids. Well, I found the light displays to be pretty good. Now there's a tree, but uh, it won't work. Uh, pretty good light display. Not the best around. This would be better if they had some hot dogs and marshmallows going. But I have yet to find a tree. A few animals out at the petting zoo and that was about it. Now, was it cold? Oh, you betcha it was cold. I think I know him. <laughs> As I said, big money raiser for the zoo. Halloween is another time where they raise pretty good funds to keep the, keep the zoo operating. But I've yet to see a tree. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate and some popcorn. Really hit the spot. Need to say, needless to say, those are uh, giraffes. And coming here is the Christmas train. Now, this train runs all around the park, the zoo, and in the wintertime, of course, they decorate it and give rides. Extra uh, couple bucks here and there. Oh, there's a tree. Unfortunately, with all these people, there's no way to get that tree out of there, and I don't think it's the one I want anyway. Now, this is downtown South Bend, St. Joe River. And how do we show it to you? There's a Morris Civic Auditorium back there. Looks like uh, two light, uh, looks like two eyeballs looking at you. This is a decoration as we're leaving town house decorated. Here's another one. Well, sports fans, it looks like I'm going to find and hunt, hunt down that perfect tree 
Well, I'm going to have to do a little bit more hunt because I haven't found it yet. They have to go out into the wild. That's me. Wild, wild bed. Go out in the wild to see what I can find. So hang in there. See you down the road. Well, now here's a few trees I spotted along the way, and a couple of these don't look too darn bad. I put these on the list. If need be, I can come back and get one of these. However, they're not quite as big as I would like. That's not too bad as far as height goes. Eh, too small, skinny. Others. Oh, this one wouldn't work too, wouldn't be too bad, but that's in a restaurant. Yeah, well, this one's in a doctor's office. This one, I'm not sure where it was at. This is an inside an insurance agency, as is that. And this is in a friend's house. Now, if I took that, he wouldn't be a friend anymore. And this is in a church. Now, Lord knows I can't do that. So, back into the wild we go. This is a really nice area. Well, trees on the way in don't look too bad. But other than that, I'm not seeing any. Nice lake. No ice on that lake yet. Uh oh look, there's some trees. Finally found some trees, but I don't think those look too good. No, they don't look too good at all. Man, eh, about the right size, height wise, but they just don't look too good. So we back back out past that lake again. On this very bumpy road. If nothing else, I'm persistent. I will find that darn tree. Hello, sports fans. Well, I told you I had another idea. So we're on the Indiana Toll Road and we are heading east. We're going to find what we're looking for, maybe tonight. So I'll see you down the road. Well, this is Wellfield Botanical Gardens, Elkhart, Indiana. There's a stalker. Now, if you want to know more about Wellfield, I've done a video in the past where you can take a look at these botanical gar gardens. They're, they're very beautiful. But we're here tonight looking for a tree, and it looks to me like there's a lot of trees here. A lot of trees, different colors. We're going to take a look at some of these. Look at here. Now, these would work, except they're so small. You know me, I don't want a small tree. I want a big tree. But these are nice. Now, there's big trees, but they're wrong kind of tree. Sure to light the pond up nice. Pond's got about an eighth of an inch of ice on it. That could be a Christmas tree way out there, that blue job. Let's we'll take a look at that. There it is. Problem might be getting it across the pond. Kind of neat.
Wellfield has a lot of lights. Lots of lights. I love them blue trees. Is that the stalker? Little fire where you can warm up. Little tent where you can get some hot chocolate. Even got an outhouse. Well, I guess you'd call it a restroom. I believe they call this the caterpillar. But no tree. Oh, the swinging bridge. Always oh, got somebody that's got to get it to swing. You can kind of see that ice. You wouldn't want to walk across it. You wouldn't want to drag a tree across it. Lighted bridge. Well, maybe there's a tree over here. Yeah, a lot of trees, but I don't see any Christmas trees. Those blue lights, that whole field is lit up with blue lights. Very neat. everything but a tree. There's that blue field. There's that tree. You know there's a buffalo, two buffalo actually, on that little island with that tree. I, I don't think you'd want to mess with it. Good view of the ice.
That's a Japanese garden back there. And that was new just this last year. Wellfield started out as a rotary project. I don't know today how much the rotary is involved, but uh, that's how it started. pretty scrawny tree. A lot of little scrawny trees. And the archway. Kind of an archway. More trees, but no Christmas trees. Oh, there's that. There's my blue tree. Hmm, stalker again. Folks, that was Wellfield Botanical Gardens in Elkhart, Indiana. No Christmas trees. Everything they had was decorated and they had guards all around the place. No way was we going to upscound with a tree from there. Plus, I didn't really see anything I wanted. So the hunt continued. We will not give up. See you down the road. Well, sports fans, still looking for that tree, but I think I may have found it. Yep, we're gonna get out and take a look. Freddie's already here. We're gonna take a look at that tree, and uh, I may come back tonight. If this is the tree, I'll come back tonight and see if I can confiscate it. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. In the meantime, see you folks down the road. Well, sports fans, here we are. Looks like I found a tree. That's it. What do you think? Well, I can tell you without a doubt, Freddie likes it. That's right, Fred says. Freddy here, my buddy. He's okay to it. It's okay with him. Now, it's a little big. Yeah. I'll have to uh, have to take a look around here. See what uh, he's even got presents under it. See? What do you think of that? We got presents underneath the tree. And the tree goes up and up and up and up. Yeah. It's a big tree. Got some big decorations here. 
on this tree, as you can see. And of course, that would be the tree for me, without a doubt. Now, the question is, how am I gonna get that tree home? Well, I'm sure as hell not sure, but I know one thing, it ain't gonna fit in the back of this GMC. Right there. It ain't even gonna fit over the top. So I'm probably gonna have to look at the trailer. I'm gonna go home, get me a trailer. See if I can get that little bitty tree on the trailer. Now, it is decorated and it's got lights. And I'm assuming here that somebody isn't gonna be real happy with me coming out here and loading up on that tree. Putting it on the back of a trailer and hauling it home. But that's the tree I want. So we'll have to wait and we'll see what happens. I better rescue Fred right now. He's getting pretty cold. So I'll see you people. We head on down the road. It's not gonna go. It's not gonna fit on this truck and that trailer, top of that trailer, top of this truck, top of that. It still isn't gonna go. It sure as hell not gonna fit inside. It would stick out about 50 feet. That isn't gonna work. So what the heck am I gonna do now? I got a hundred foot tree. Let's march it off, see what we get here. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Nope, it's not gonna fit. It's not gonna make it. Ooh, I got an idea. I have an idea. Bear with me. We're gonna check it out. Okay, we're gonna go back. I know just where to go. Yep, I got a pretty good idea what we might try here. A lot of deer tracks out here. So anyway, what I wanna try, here's the bushes, deer eating on the bushes. Right there. So what I want to know, if this is going to work, right here, see that? Now I'm not sure that old truck going to do the job, but look at here. We got us a bigger flatbed trailer. That trailer's probably uh, 10, 15, probably about 15 feet. That means we'd only stick over about 80 feet, 85 feet. Well, we could put another 10 on top of the truck. Give us 25. That means we're only 75 off. Yeah. That may not work either. We'll see if I can get the okay for that. Yeah, you never know, you know get the okay. You might try it. Look at all these deer tracks. I don't know if you can see these or not. Those are deer tracks. And that dry spot right there, right there, that dry spot, there was a hunk of corn. That's right. Look here. Deer droppings. Yeah. A little cold out here. It's all right. I've been hunting that tree in the 
sunshine. I've been hunting that tree in the snow and I'm hunting that tree in the cold. But I got one more up my sleeve, a couple more things up my sleeve. We'll see what happens. There's another plane. That's all right. See you later. But this is the uh, tree that I've decided to get. See these trees over here? That's not them. But I'll show you the tree. That's it right there. I think that'll fit nicely. That tree right in the whole living room. Kind of a big tree. Anyway. We're gonna walk around a little bit. See what you think of that. Not a lot of people out here tonight. So I'm gonna mosey around. Let's take a few pictures, see what we get into here. Hang in there with me. You can probably hear that, a few kids around. All right, back at the GMC. Well, hello sports fans. Well, after my long search, many days for the perfect Christmas tree, which I might add, I do believe I found. It was big, yes. It would have taken up the whole dining room and big part of the living room, but it was the perfect tree. But my idea of the perfect tree and others are not always the same. My idea of a Christmas tree, my idea was vetoed by a much higher power. And I have now a more modest Christmas tree. So I ask you, what do you think of my modest Christmas tree? From enormous to Charlie Brown, I don't know how else to put it, it's quite a difference. But I will survive this as I have others because I am a rugged individualist. However, I don't rule the roost around here. Anyway. I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Special prayers to a, a friend of mine from the VFW 4256 who recently passed away. Uh, Michael Richardson was one of my first subscribers to this channel and he will be missed. For my other friends and all of you, I wish you well and a happy new year. Maybe next year, we'll get the perfect trip.